his uh, PP total. Since its PP total was 10, so it made it 10 out of 15, rather than making it 15 out of 15. Uh, which means you have to, if you go to the Pokemon Center, it would fully heal it, right? But it decided to keep it that way, so it's not like, uh, so you can't regenerate your PB by relearning the move. That was an old, I think, Gen, I think that was a Gen 5 trick, pretty much, for the most part. Was that if you have a TM that your Pokemon can learn, let's say, like, Ice Beam, and you want to replenish that without using ethers, elixirs, and all that such stuff, that's what you would do. You would do something like that. I don't think I ever did that. Because I don't think I ever used it. I think I only used the TM once, because I think I got so used to gen, like, like all the way up to gen 4 kind of thing like the tms would break after usage so i don't think i ever actually got used to gen 5 until gen until a gen 5 thing until i f needed to give a move to i think someone and i found out that it was actually unbreakable and i'm like really and i just taught everyone whatever i needed them to, need to use and that was it then i think i fully capitalized in gen 6 i think or I just gave everybody like really strong moves and I just left it like that. Oh yeah, we're gonna have fun with Gen 6. Trust me, we're gonna have fun with Gen 6. Uh, I have my own, I have my whole ruling and everything for it. I just need to get it to go through. Uh, I just need to find out how to record uh, uh, 3DS games with my 3DS. I don't have a recorder, that's why I, uh, or the recording unit or whatever. You see, so it's gonna be kind of weird for me to actually end up recording like that, but either I get an emulator to work properly. Now, no, the computer is not the bottleneck, it's just the software, but yeah. Should switch the move though. Should put Dragon Claw in the front and then Shadow Claw there. It's fine. Just gotta remember to go sideways. <laughs> but yeah, but let's see here. Yeah, so like, I think when I first played Gen 6. I don't remember what I did in Gen 6 actually for my first time. But I know my second time. I ended up using Mega Lucario way too much, and I loved it, because Mega Lucario just killed everything in, like, no time at all. And I was just like, Lucario, calm down, and then Lucario just went, like, like, uh, what was it, Power Up Punch, dead. And it just got it sat up, I'm just like, calm down, dude. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I talked about this already. I might have, and I just forgot about it. But I always found it kind of weird that of the stat changes uh, between normal Lucario and Mega Lucario. So I got so I get really confused of which one to use. It's a similar case of what's what's the uh, what's the Gen One one? I think it's Blastoise. I think Blastoise is like a mixed attacker. I think that's what Lucario is supposed to be as well as a mixed attacker. But it just looks very odd when you look at the mega and you look at the normal right because the normal one has i think it's like what's its special attack again can i just look up lucario for a second thank you uh Bulbapedia, for using a very easy to access no, 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 just go again where is it just stop going mouse stop it i'm going down i'm Going really slow for it, so you know that I'm going down. It has a base 110 attack and a base 115 special attack. Okay, that's a normal Lucario. Okay, that's not Mega, that's just a normal one. So if you catch a Lucario kind of thing, that is what your base stat total is for both of those stats 110 attack, 115 special attack. Mega Lucario, however, is different. Mega Lucario has base 145 attack 
and 140 special attack. So, so where is the, where is the, like, why did you change it from a, from a special attacker to a physical attacker in the mega? Like, do you like, like, where is the difference here? Like, why did you do that, Game Freak? Why? <laughs> what is the what is the advantage of doing this? Because there is none. There is no advantage of doing it this way. Okay, Aura Sphere once. And then switch. And then take care of everything. Oh no, we... Because we really fell asleep. That's fine. Now in case you're wondering, why didn't I just kill it and then switch is because then we go into 198 EVs rather than 192, which is where we need it to be. So we can stay neutral to everything. So as you can see, we're staying at 192. As long as the Mon is in the battle kind of thing before it's technical fainting, it's fine. You still get that base, that total. That's why or you still get the EV. That's why when a lot of people, even me when I was a kid, um, uh, didn't realize at the time was that when you go use an EXP share, you get that EV added on. I didn't know that when I was a kid because I was like, oh, Pokemon, I'm just gonna fight this thing, right? I didn't know about EVs and IVs. I thought every time you catch a Giratina or you, or you got your Charmander, it was already, like, perfect. But now, now that I know that those kinds of stats exist, where the base stats are, like, you know, the space stats are the same, but it's the EVs and IVs that are different, that's where I change everything, right? I don't know, it's just something that I realized. That means that that Embor would have been poorly statted because it was the only one that he used in Pokemon Black. And that Sock must have also been terrible because that was my second Mon that I used a lot. Yeah, they must have been poor, poorly statted. In general. Yeah, they must have been poorly statted. Anyway, enough about that. Grimald, we didn't need a crit there, but thank you. Thank you nonetheless. You're you're an asset to the team. There you go. Okay. I'm just gonna go with this, this, and this. Now we are going to need to go to what's it called? Here then, or is it here? Just go back to Nara Town. Oh, okay, I see where it is now. Oh yes, this Giratina is gonna help us out so much. So if you don't remember the rules, uh, we are allowed to have one legendary on the team, uh, one Mega, uh, one. What is it called? Uh, one technically Delta in this game as well. And I would also say the same thing applies to starters, but that's just more of a personal thing for me. That's not like an actual like full written rule. Like it's in the rules. Like it's rule three or something like that. It's more of so just a personal rule. Like I usually like to keep one starter in a party just because it looks. I don't know. To me, it looks normal. But I know it doesn't look normal, but to me it looks normal. It looks like it, like I started off with the Turtwig and then I did the whole battle. Although, Evie is a wonderful starter, especially in this game. I definitely prefer it. I think I tried with a Delta Mon, I think. I think I tried with... Which one was it? I think it was Delta Charmander. And I did not like it at all. Mind you, I love that everything couldn't hit me because everything at that level was only using normal moves and I was 
and I think Charmander was the... What was it? I think it was Giratina's typing. I think it was, like, Ghost Dragon. So it was like, nothing could hit me. And I was just like, wonderful. I can do so much damage with this, right? So I'll do this again. We'll see how far that goes. Is that actually it? Yep, okay. So, Giratina is finished. Hooray, what's its stats? Oh my god, that's amazing. Like, we can't compare Evie's to it because Evie's not in its uh, mega form, but... The fact that it's just catching up on Mons that are already geared towards it kind of thing. Like, look at Kezrelia's special attack, though. Look at her special defense and speed. Like, it's close to that special defense and speed totals. And the health is its most dominant thing. Oh my word, man. That's incredible. I am shocked. And also, its IV totals aren't really good on the defenses. Like, look at the de that defense. It's trash. Alright, everybody. We're good. Grimwald's on our team now. You know, he is going to be the new loving member of the team. Uh, we're going to go give him at least a little bit more levels. I think 87 kind of thing should be really nice. Uh, should probably go grab the lucky egg, actually. 87, 88 kind of thing. You know, just to give him at least some kind of level, level variance. Yeah, we want to withdraw. There we go. We got one lucky egg. It's fine. Does anybody on the team actually have a scope lens? Scope lens could be pretty nice. Item give. We're going to give you the lucky egg, buddy. Because I think Lepria doesn't have one of that magnitude. No, we can give it scope lens. Wonderful. I'll actually do that. Grimwald will have scope lens. Unless we get the crystal piece, which according to the one guy, as soon as we're finished with the Pokemon League, we'll get it. I would prefer to have the Christy sword before then, but I can't really do that, so... Level 100. Should be able to do this in, like, no time at all. On now? It's fine. Uh, I'm going to use... War Sphere. Come on. Okay, maybe we'll do two times. Because it should definitely give us a big, huge boost to everything. Oh, also, we're using normal Giratina stats, so of course it's going to be, you know, it's going to look at least a little bit more defensive in nature. Right, unless this is like the old Pokemon games where you have to level up in order for you to see the EV changes. Unless your Pokemon was level 100. We'll do one more. 
and that'll be it for leveling up Giratina, then we'll continue onward. I hate doing this during the middle of recording, but like, you know what? Like, look at Grimwald. Grimwald's getting stronger. And that's what I like to see during like normal video sort of stuff, is that even if you see the results of the training during recording, it's better than seeing it off screen. So Grimwald's gonna be about 89, that's pretty strong. Two for a Giratina, that's very nice. There we go, that's it. Do I, I didn't grab the choice specs. Of course I didn't. We're gonna choice specs, uh, the scope lens. It goes the scope one. Was it scope lens? Yeah, it's scope lens. Unless, uh, because Relia has a different item. Nope. Item give. We're gonna give you the scope lens, please. 